वेरी वार्म वेलकम वेलकम टू योर चैनल कूल आई टी हेल्प एंड दिस इज द न्यू सेशन ऑन स्प्रिंग बूट प्रोजेक्ट सेटअप इन विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड पार्ट वन सो गाइज इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सेटअप अ प्रॉपर वर्किंग इन्वायरमेंट फॉर विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड प्रोजेक्ट सो एज वेल एज आई विल क्रिएट वन आ सैम्पल प्रोजेक्ट एंड आई विल परफॉर्म द टेस्ट रन टू टेस्ट अवर सेटअप इन वी एस कोड सो लेट्स चेक अबाउट द प्री रिक्विजिट्स so guys we need a simple working java environment with some essential extension installation which is must including these three so first one is a uh, jdk i hope you guys have a proper setup in visual studio code for the jdk after that we need the extension pack for java and this pack uh, comes with the six ex useful extensions which are required for a proper java working so you will get some additional help auto completion and uh, auto suggestion code snippet and lot more helpful things from the visual studio code and the third extension which is a dedicated extension for the spring boot projects so we will install and this comes with three useful extensions and these are the five steps we are going to perform in this session guys let's get started first step we are going to install the extension pack for java I hope you guys have installed the JDK and proper setup in your VS Code. After that, please start the step one. Here we go. This is the Visual Studio Code. I have this one of the project ready. I'm not uh, doing anything with this. Click on this extension button, and you will see the search box. Please type Java Extension Pack. And guys you will see the results you have to go with the first one click on it on the right hand side you will see all the information this extensions by the microsoft some of you guys have already installed it but i want to just show you that if a, a very f beginner a uh, person is uh, doing this thing so they may not con confuse with these things so i'm uh, telling everything from the beginning Here we go. We have these six extensions with this extension pack, and these are very useful. Visual Code, Intelli Code, and they are a project Java project manager for that. We have Debugger and one of the useful uh, extension Maven for Java also present in this pack. If you want to read more about the extensions, you can just scroll down and see these information about the features uh, provided by these extensions. code navigation auto completion refactoring code snippets and code scaffolding custom goals a lot of things there you will get to know when you do some coding that time so please read it now we are moving further the second important extension is the spring boot extension pack we have to go back at the same place in visual studio code and then in the search box we have to type this thing uh spring boot extension pack so we will get the result uh the first one by the pivotal and uh, just click on it and you will see the detailed information on right hand side this is the boot extension pack spring boot extension pack and uh, which comes with these three important extension first one is a spring initializer java support second one is spring boot tools you have a lot of things you have a support for the application properties and for the dot java files also we have the spring boot dashboard so we will get a integrated tomcat under this spring dashboard so you can easily deploy your application and you can start and stop and debug uh, with tomcat so guys please read the information more here if you want to know more about these extensions and now we are moving further so i have just clicked on the install button and uh, all these three extensions installation in progress i think it's, it's done on the right hand side we will get a notification like we need to reload the visual studio code if you guys not seeing this message so your duty to close the visual studio code once and please restart your visual studio code then proceed to next step coming back to this note but i have also given this uh, note as important after the installation of both the extensions please restart your vs code okay 
I hope you have restarted. Now we are going to the next step. So in the step 2, we are going to create a Spring Boot project in Visual Studio Code. To do that, you have to simply go to the command palette. You can press a key combination, Control Shift P and then the uh, input box will appear. So you have to type uh, Spring Initializer and when you type this, uh, you will get the option to create the Maven or Gradle project. Let me show you how you will do it. Okay, here in this VS Code, you can see on the bottom that Spring Boot dashboard is initializing and uh, VS Code is preparing this for you. Now you have to go on the top menu, view, then command palette and then now here you have to type this Spring Initializer. So you will get the option create Maven project or you can create a Gradle project. It depends on you. You can choose any one. So I'm uh, going with uh, Maven project. I just clicked on it. And now this will ask me for the which is Spring Boot version I want to use. So it also whatever you want, please select. And then uh, the language choice, which one you want. I want Java. So I'm going with Java. Just clicked. Now this is asking me for the group ID. So please get the group ID. This will become the package. And then when you click, uh, when you hit enter, this will ask you for the artifact ID. So please provide the artifact ID, whatever you want. So just type. So I want, uh, this is my first Spring Boot project. So I'm giving this a Spring Boot project. Now the packaging type, I'm selecting WAR file. And now which version you want to go with Java so I think uh, 8 or 11 so I'm proceeding with the 11 because my JDK is set up with 11.0 which is open JDK uh, once you click on uh, then you will see this drop down so here I would say do not select anything I will tell you you can do this step later as well so select the zero dependencies now proceed then uh, this will prompt you a browse window here you have to give the folder name or the location where you want to save your project so please select any folder of your choice or the folder or workspace where you are putting all your projects so i'm putting my all projects here in the vs code projects so i'm giving this path and now click on this generate into this folder And you will see the activity on the right hand side. You get the message successfully generated. So my project is uh, successfully generated and added in that given folder. On the left hand side, you will see your project in this Explorer tab. And you will see the tree structure of your project here. Dot Maven, the SRC folder, target folder. We have a pom.xml as well. Now let me show you the tree, SRC, how many files we have. Now expand the main and you will see the structure Java com cool IT help and then a Spring Boot project. So we have these two files server initializer, the configuration uh, Java and the second one is uh, the main. This is the starting point of our, our application. So guys, uh, this is the default uh, setup that we get from the Visual Studio Code. Now let me show you the pom.xml. So in front of you, this is the pom.xml and you will see all these default entries here. And uh, when you go upside and uh, you can look at the line number five, you have the group ID, artifact ID version and uh, the lot of things here. And the project name is uh, Spring Boot Project and the packaging is war. And uh, the description is also and I'm using the Java version is 11. And uh, after that, we have the dependencies for the, the project that we are working for Spring Boot Starter Web Project. Okay, and then the second dependency is the Starter Tomcat. So you are getting the support of the Tomcat by default with the help uh, of that um, Spring Boot dashboard extension. So guys, uh, all this stuff we will get by default. Now we'll see how to add the dependency here in the pom.xml, the additional one for your starter project. So I will 
perform this is step three and i will show you some important thing how you can add or remove the existing dependency from here so open your pom.xml and uh, come inside the dependency uh, tag and do the right click click on the add starters and you will see the drop down and you will see the dependencies which is selected that means this is present in the pom.xml if you want to uh, remove that you have to simply click on that at uh, the check and if you want to add more dependency you can proceed like i'm uh, want to add the spring boot dev tools or lombok so i have just clicked once and you can see the tick mark in front of that and that will be added here in the pom.xml in the same way you can uncheck it and then that dependency will be removed from this pom.xml when you proceed you will see the message on the right hand side this will ask you for the confirmation to proceed click on it and that dependency will be added or removed from your pom.xml i hope you guys are clear on this and you can see these two dependencies we have selected on that option so these are added here now guys we are uh, going to create a simple controller that will uh, accept a hello request and that will process our request and send back the response to us so we are going to create a controller file here now i will show you so this is the sample code we are using at the rest controller and there's a request mapping for uh, the request hello on the basis of that we are returning the response so go here and uh, in this spring boot project i am going to create one more folder so a separate folder so i will give name like controllers so i will put all controllers here and simply i will uh, do right click here now i will create one file so my controller name is a test controller so i need to give file name here this way test controller dot java and the file is created but this file is blank you can use the option you can write the intellisense away or you can simply uh, use the copy paste code i have already written this uh, small piece of code so i am putting here to save the time <coughs> and you can see there are some errors on this file because of uh, we don't have the proper import classes import so one by one i am handling all the imports which are required to remove these errors request mapping request controller rest sorry rest controller and the last one is the response entity that's it now everything is fine and this is the request mapping so we are uh, looking for some type of the request mapping that api and then the message that means we are handling some kind of a request and at the get mapping which is the exact mapping uh, on which what you want to perform so i want to send back a response like hello cool it help message back to the client and that's it so i have just saved it and now you will see uh, here on the bottom under this spring boot dashboard your project is available and you have the option you can simply run it and you have the option in to run your project in the debug mode so both option you have you have to simply click here on the debug so you have a choice you can uh, do hot reload you can simply do the changes on your java files and you can simply click on the hot reload button on the top this is the a controller which will appear when you click on the run your project in debug mode you can see on the top there's a, a debug controls for you and uh, you will get the message of the firewall uh, has blocked some features so i have to allow this and you will see all these message so your uh, project is running under the debug mode also we have a uh, tomcat uh, in his slides at the port 8080 so we can set the request from the port 8080 and on the top you can see there are controls and there are this this uh, this this uh, last uh, uh, icon button is like for the hot reload 
and uh, your project will appear in this uh, left hand side like uh, the debug mode and you can uh, watch the variables you can apply the uh, debug breakpoint as you know we don't have uh, any def uh, debug point in our project so you can proceed by uh, uh, putting a red dot in front of any line for which you want to uh, debug so this way you can uh, apply debug points and you can proceed to test your code and uh, under this uh, spring boot dashboard you will see the map this uh, globe so you can simply click on it to open the browser you don't need to go separately to open the browser and then you need to type you have to simply open click on this and this will open your browser and this will hit the 80 localhost 8080 after that you have to give the exact url for which you want to uh, get the response so we got the localhost 8080 but this is not the right address so i have to append the api slash uh, a message and then we have to send hello as a request but i think we did some mistake here and we are getting the error message okay we need to remove this one the last one now we got the right response back which is cool it help so in this way you will get the response back uh, from this this is the message line number 14 which is written back on our request hello and guys uh, if you want to do a change or you can do a hot reload uh, simply uh, you can create another mapping for uh, the to process the new request so i will copy this code this way and i uh, will paste it here and i will do small change instead of hello i will uh, put uh, subscribe and i uh, will send the request subscribe this url with the url and uh, we need to send back the different response so this is a telling me a duplicate get method uh, in type of test controller no worries i will change the name of this get okay the get one now uh, we will send back a new response with okay like uh, please like and subscribe so this is the new string that we will send back uh, in response if uh, the subscribe request comes to this controller okay that's it saved it and uh, this is hot deployed and you don't need to restart everything so simply go here in this uh, browser and uh, send the request with the subscribe and you will get the response please like and subscribe so guys this way you can uh, set up your uh, Visual Studio Code for Spring Boot uh, project development and uh, there are a lot of things and uh, now this is all yours please uh, do some hands on and learn more and I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful you guys can hit a like button and appreciate us and you can subscribe and also you can press the bell icon so you will get the notification of a new upcoming latest video tutorials and uh merry christmas to all of you guys and thanks for watching cool it help